Like I said, my name is Mrs. Zakin Lotong. I'm a lawyer, and I'm looking to inmates who haven't yet been tried. So, do you like it in here? Do you want to rot in here? Don't you want justice? Do you realize I have the power to approach the courts on your behalf? Or even petition the governor to exercise prerogative of mercy? I mean, why did they come for you? It's the lawyer. The lawyer said that I could be a candidate for pardon since I've been here this long and I haven't been tried. Are you serious? Yes. What lawyer? I mean, who is he? She. It's a woman. I don't know where she is, but I, I thought she'd be here to at least tell me what to expect. But maybe she's in the court. Maybe. Okay. Okay. I will look for her. Okay. okay. Good. Uh. They say I'll, I'll be in um, court four or five. Okay. I think her name is Akinoton. 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 Ake, yes, okay. Yes. Akinoton. She's young and she can be a bit unfriendly. But she seems smart, so okay. just let her know that I'm here. All right, I will, my dear. I will. I will call for you soon, okay? okay? I am going on with this matter because I have seen this affidavit. Uh, Tosa, did you sign this affidavit? <laughs> I watched her sign it myself. As an officer of the court, I can testify that there was no undue influence. Is that right? Did anyone coerce you in signing this document? That means you agreed to committing murder. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. That is okay. Counsel, anything to add? My lord. The accused has been in prison for a very long time. Is that even a legal argument? Mrs. Akinloton, kindly comport yourself in my courtroom. Motion to grant summary judgment based on the confession of the accused person passes. I will hear final remarks and make my final ruling in one hour. I rise. Ah. Light on, light on. What are you doing? Wait, can I speak to my lawyer? Don't be silly. I'm not your lawyer. And as to what I'm doing, it is called justice. I don't know how people like literally think they can get away with murder. Well, not this time. But, but you came to me. You spoke about leniency and getting pardons about the government granting pardons. You, you said that. Well, that's up to them. I never said I'll go easy on you. They can. I won't. And I'll make that very clear in my closing argument, which I shall now go to prepare. Excuse me. I don't know what to do. I need you to come. There is an affidavit and, and all that. The judge has agreed to summary judgment. Ask for mercy. How? Unlawful coercion. Plead for mercy of the court. Are you sure you can't come?
in the matter of the state against Tosan Ebo, who is accused of the murder of one Mr. Kome Ebo, her stepfather, and who, by a sworn affidavit and oral testimony, has made an admission of guilt to the hearing of this court. The matter for determination is now one of sentencing. Counsel for the defense has petitioned the mercy of this court and has raised the accused prolonged incarceration without trial. The right to a fair trial is one that this court upholds very strongly, as the right to fairness is one of the bedrocks upon which our constitution was built. The court shows intense displeasure at the state's prolonged delay in bringing this matter before this honorable court. Nevertheless, this is a court of both equity and justice. It will be inequitable of this court to declare the accused person's incarceration unfair when she willingly admitted to murder. This court will not make a joke of fair adjudication on the ground of technicality. By affidavit, the accused confessed to killing her stepfather while she was of sound mind. No defense was put forward and no plausible objection were made to the contrary. This court finds Ms. Tosa Ebo guilty of the willful murder of Mr. Kome Ebo and hereby sentenced her to death as provided by S319 Section 1 of the Criminal Code. May God have mercy on your soul. I rise. Is that it? Your purpose of intervening her was to get her killed? Lawyer! I'm talking to you! Tell me. How can you live with yourself? If that girl dies, her blood will be on your head. Well, I didn't sentence her to death. That's the law. And if you have any problem with its provisions, take it up with the legislature. You're so heartless. I am heartless. How about the victim? How about the person she murdered in cold blood? Did she give him a second thought? Did you? Do you even know the whole story? Well, take it up with the defense, or an appeal, or with God. Take it up with anyone but me. As far as I'm concerned, Tosan got what was coming to her. My God. The soul that sins shall die. That's justice. God. And that's life. You're so wicked. God will forgive you. And you too, ma'am. Have I warned you? Have I 
order bringing your son here to scatter my living room. Can't I just come in here and find order? Sorry. All right, Tom. How can you just come in here and start shouting? Did you find him alone here? Please, not in front of my head. Okay? Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, sir. I have told you to stop undermining my authority in this house, especially when it concerns my maid. And what do you think you have done with my own authority? Hey, all I do. How do you just walk into the house and start screaming on top of your voice? Because you don't listen. I've told you time and time again, I don't want to see that boy in this house again. Why? Why would he be here? Why would he be here? What would a grown-ass man be doing with the maid's son? Well, maybe if you give me a child of my own, I would have to play with someone else's son. Femi, please. I can't go over this again. We said we're gonna wait. No, 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 no. We did not agree on anything. You unilaterally decided to go on the pill. You are almost 30 years old and only God knows when you're ready to start a family. You want to have a child? Why don't you go and adopt? Or better still, go to an orphanage. Or do you want my maid, Risi, to pop one or two for you? <laughs> Is that it? Oh, all right, are you insane? Insane, eh? So, Rissi, you want to have a kid with my husband, right? Mmm, Ma. I want you to go in there, pack your things, and get the hell out of my house, you hallows. Ma. Rissi, just, just go inside and stay. You're not going anywhere, okay? Rissi, I said go inside. I'm sorry, ma. Please, ma. I promise, if you won't come in here again... I'm... Rissi, just leave! Go inside! Sorry. As for you, all I told your cup, eh? Your cup is almost getting full. It's almost there. And I can't wait for it to get full. Maybe then you will man up to your responsibilities. You want to have kids, eh? Where would you put them? Or don't you know it's people that have money that have children? Nonsense. <laughs> What are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. And sometimes it's as if her head just touches. And God knows I love my wife, but her madness is, is making my house into a, a, a living hell. I don't know. I don't know what she wants from you. <laughs> blood. <laughs> she, she wants your blood. It's not even funny, can I? Yo? <laughs> it's not funny. Okay. People go through challenges in the first two, three years of their marriages, but it's been five years down the line, and I still don't get her. Obviously, her first love is her career, and I am sick and tired of competing with that. If you ladies will excuse me, I'll be at my study. I'm sure you two will like it to continue with whatever I interrupted when I came out for dinner. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we would. <laughs> I'm leaving. Um, Eliza, it's good to, to have you around. Thank you, sir. And uh, my regards to your husband. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Good night, sir. Mm.
You can take this away. Under no circumstance should you get pregnant. Is it crazy? At this stage in your career? Mom, when is a good time? Because I'm beginning to see reasons with him. Is it when I'm marked up for the bench or when I can't have kids anymore? Listen. Men are very selfish. If your husband was doing well, I won't be this bold at him. But that man looks mediocre to me. I don't want you to suffer. Mom, how is he mediocre? He's doing very well in his office and he pays our bills. This is why I don't like talking to you. You're not serious yet. It's because I do the suffering for both of us. Sometimes, sometimes she acts as if we're suffering. Hmm. I, work, I work my butt off just so that two of us can be happy and comfortable, but does, does this satisfy her? No, it doesn't. Right now, man, I'm not sure that having children is going to solve anything. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I used to think that I was a hard worker, but... <laughs> compared to her, I'm a slacker, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Femi. You know, I don't favor Tarzan tactics. But hey, friend, this time, I think you have to lay down the floor. She is acting like a single woman. I mean, you are married, and you two have to make plans together. And that includes children. I mean, this is what drives men to other women. God knows I love my wife, man. But I don't know why the one woman I love is determined to make my life a living hell. Are you sure it's not with another woman? Men are all the same. And I'm sure he has moved on to plan B. He wouldn't dare. <laughs> that is the more reason why you should take this promotion very seriously. If he messes up, you have options. Ha! Even your stepfather knows that once he steps out of line, does it. After all, I was a sexual before I met him. See if you guys can reach a compromise. Yeah. Don't compromise under any circumstance. to offend you and I'm sorry if I did but I think it would be a great mistake for you not to hire me people need help they need people like me <laughs> you don't have to pay me but I promise you I will win every case that comes to my table oh, light, huh? no one wins every case such declarations makes you sound even more ridiculous than you already do. I will win every case. Baby 
me crying Wheels of agony, I hear the sounds of victory Genesis.